Uh, we're gonna start out with just some squatting. I'm gonna make sure we're all on the same page about form since we're gonna be doing some good squats to start out with today. So we're squatting just up and down, but make sure you drive back with your butt to start that squat out. So the very first thing you do is pretend like somebody left a drawer open in a chest of drawers behind you and you're pushing back to get that drawer closed. But at the same time, you're keeping your chest up, facing the wall in front of you and keeping your core tight. All right. Okay, my warm up question this morning, if you could name a household item that you routinely use for something other than its intended purpose. And I have an alternate question. If you couldn't think of an answer for this one, just tell me about your favorite tool or household item that you have in, in your house. And that can be your answer. If you don't have something that you feel like you use for its not intended purpose, but my answer, and I brought a, something to show you is this. It's like something you would use for, uh, you know, getting honey out of a jar. I don't think we've ever used it for that, but my daughter is endlessly entertained by it. So it's pretty much a, uh, a toy, a way to entertain my daughter. <laughs> That's my answer. What about you, Liz and Jill? Anything you use for not its intended purpose? I have a favorite spatula too. Very unique, I love it. What about you, Candace? Do you have anything that you use for a non-intended purpose or something that you just like, your favorite item? Multi-tool. <laughs> okay, all right. So we're gonna go move on to our next warm-up exercise. I want you to take a heavy band. We're not gonna be doing anything with it other than using it as like a strap. So heavier band. We're gonna still keep squatting, but you're gonna have a wide stance, like a kind of like a sumo squat with your toes pointed out. So you're gonna squat and then take that band all the way behind your head if that is what your shoulder mobility allows for. So I'll show you from the side, squat all the way over your head and stand up. So what we're doing here is giving the shoulders a nice warm up as we come down into that wide squat. And because you're squatting so wide, you're getting a little bit of what you can feel in the inner thigh work too. Okay, Beth. Patients, do you have anything you use for its not intended purpose or just a favorite household item? Well, that's good to know. Also good to know, good tips here today. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna show you our next warm up 
here. So we're gonna take our right leg back into a lunge and we're just gonna kind of slowly bounce in this position. We're gonna do something with that same band that you have from the, what we just did. And you're gonna take it from your leg that's behind you up across your body. So again, here, just kind of going through the range of motion to warm up the shoulders with that leg behind you. Okay, what about you, Julie? Do you have any household items you'd like to tell us about? Good one. Good one. What, any port in the storm, right? Gotta use what's there. What about you, Becky? Go switch legs, other leg behind you. And take twist from the leg behind you up across your body. Good, good little tool. All right. And Lorena, I think I saw you there. Do you have anything, a household item that's either your favorite or that you use for something that's not intended to be used for? Office supply, kitchen supply. All right. Okay, great. Love those answers. Let's, um, let's get started here. So today's a strength day. So the focus is gonna be on slow quality controlled reps. And we're gonna start out, we have four blocks of work. The first one is gonna be legs, quads. We're gonna do squats and push-ups. So little upper and lower body. So we're gonna start out with squats that are slow on the lower one, two, three, and then up. And then we're gonna go into pulse squats, which you know what those are, your one, two, three counts. And then the push-ups will be, and remember from last time, I told you you could do push-ups on the wall or if you can do them on the chair or the mat. But with these push-ups, you're gonna do the same thing with the squats, slow on the lowering, three, two, one, and then press up. And then we'll also do, to end that block, some pulsing with the chest press. So we'll do one, two, three like that with a band. So we're gonna do eight reps of everything today. Eight's the number. And we're keeping it low because I want you to choose a band that is heavier and challenging for you. So when you're doing this, uh, try to choose a band for every exercise today that makes it challenging for you to get through the eight reps. So I don't want you to choose a band that makes you feel like you can keep going for 20 or 30 reps. So choose something that maybe is a little challenging. We'll do each exercise twice. So the first time through, you can kind of gauge how it feels. And then the second time through, maybe change based on how the first round felt. So we're going to, no bands for the first one, just head into a squat. So remember the good squat form we talked about in our warm up. So butt back and shoulders back, chest up. So we're going to go and count together here. So one, three, two, one one and up and three, two, one and up, two, one and three. So I'm gonna count for us the strength day as we often do counting together just to kind of make sure we're all on the same page with the tempo and how slow things should be going. Two more, one, two, three and seven. One, two, three, and eight. Okay, now we're going into eight pulse squats. So you're going to go down, one, two, three, and up. One, two, three, and up. So today is threes a crowd. And it's because we got a lot of three pulses today, four, so you'll become very familiar with the number three by the time we're done today. And one, two, three, and six. One, two, three, 
seven, one more, one, two, three, and up. Okay. So now we're gonna assume whatever push-up position you want, you can even use fly on your back and do a chest press with dumbbells, um, whatever version that makes you feel like you can get to eight, but not a lot past the number eight. So we're going to start, like I said, on the slow lowering for a three count. One, two, three, and up. One, two, three, and up. One, two, three, and up. Good, one, two, three, and four. Three, and five. One, two, three, and six. One, two, three, and seven. And one more. One, two, three, and eight. Okay. Now, I want you to grab a medium to heavy band here. And like I said, we will go through these exercises one more time. So you have a chance to change it up if what you choose now is maybe not exactly what you are needing to get that eight count resistance, but we're gonna go for a three pulse. So that's gonna look like this, one, two, three, okay? So we're gonna do eight on each side, starting now. One, two, three, and then let that arm come all the way back, and then press out again, one, two, three. You are pressing really straight out in front of you. One, two, three. You can have your elbow kind of out to the side a little bit, two, three, good. One, two, three. One, two, three, three more. Ooh. One, two, three. One, two, three. Last one. One, two, and three. Okay, so now we're gonna switch sides. Other side. One, two, three. So that hand that's not pressing is really just anchoring it kind of right against the middle of your chest there, against your sternum. One, two, three. Excellent. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's do three more. One, two, three. One, two. Hey, last one here. One, two, three. Okay. All right. So one more time through those exercises, and then we're going to move on to another block where we're doing uh, different exercises. So we're going to head into our slow squats, starting in three, two, and slowly lower down. One, two, three, and up. Two, three, and up. One, 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 two, three, and up. Two more. One, two, three, and up. Last one. One, two, three, and up. Okay. All right. Building that thigh strength. Let's get into those pulses, three pulses on the squat, and let's go. One, two, three, and up. One, two, three, and up. One, two, three, and up. So you'll notice today, everything is pretty slow paced, which is typical for when we have a day that's more strength focused. On the days that are more cardio focused, you'll feel like you're moving a little faster. Two more. But the real way to get those strength benefits is to do lower reps with more weight, more resistance, and that's the last one there. More weight, more resistance, and slower tempo, more time with your muscles under tension. So that is our focus, as you can feel today, why we're doing the slow lowering on the push-ups and the squats. So let's head to those push-ups. And we're going to the slow lower in three, two, one. And down. One. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. All right, one last chance to do those single arm chest press and you can uh, either use the same band you did last time or adjust up or down based on how easy it felt. The last time, if you felt like it was super easy to get through eight, um, then maybe level up. So let's take a pan and go one, two, three, and back. One, two, three, and back, good. One, two, Three and back. One, two, three and back. Good. One, two, three and back. Two, three more. One, two, three and back. One, two, three and back. Last one. One, two, three back. Okay, switch sides. Other side. One, two, three and back. One, two, three, and back. One, two, three, back. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and five. One, two, three, six. Last two here. One, two, three, seven, and last one. One, two, three, and back. Okay. So that's our format, but we are moving on to different exercises now. So take a peek. We're going to do some triceps and some hips next. So for triceps, you're going to use probably somewhere around a medium to heavy band. So it's going to be the anchor position is going to be kind of right inside your armpit and you're going to be pressing straight up like this. So that's going to be our first exercise is you can use a band or a dumbbell for this. And then we turn it into, guess what? Three pulse, you never would have guessed, right? So we're gonna go one, two, three, like that. And then we're going to do hip bridges. So we're going to do a hip bridge on the chair. So you go down slow and up down slow and up for eight. And then we're going to put a, uh, a band around above our knees and add a three pulse with the band. So let's get started with triceps. And everybody got their band. So the anchor position, like I said, for the press chest press, it was in the middle of the chest. You're gonna slide over a little bit towards the arm that you're actually using the tricep extension with. And your hand position is gonna be like this as you go up. So here we go. We're gonna go for eight on each side. And one, two, three, good. So as much as you can, keep that elbow pointed towards the ceiling. Four, five, and try to keep it from flaring out to the sides. So. Keep it in kind of close to your face. Two more. One and two. Okay. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight, okay. All right, so now you're gonna go uh, the same band if the band worked for you. You wanna be able to do that full extension. So if you had a band that didn't let you go all the way, try to pick like a lighter band so you can go all the way up and down. Um, but we're gonna do the same exercise, switching back to the other side, just with a three pulse now. Okay, one, two, three, and down, good. One, two, three and down, one, two, three and down, one, two, three, down, Ooh. 
feeling this. I don't know about you. Ah, oh. let's do three more. One, two, three, and down. Two, three, and down. And last one. Ooh, the triceps are on fire. Okay, let's switch sides. Okay, so you're anchoring that band against the armpit of the arm that's pressing up. And we're going one, two, three, and down. One, two, three, and down. Two, three, and three. Halfway. Whew. And five. One, six. Seven and one more. Eight. Okay. Oh, I'm happy to give my triceps a break. Let's work on the legs now. So lower body. So positioning on the chair, you want to have your head and the upper part of your shoulder blades supported on the chair. Um, so we're going to position ourselves like that. So it's going to be a slow three count on the lower and then pressing the hips as far as you can up towards the ceiling. So we're going now. One, two, three, and up. One, two, three, and up. One, two, three, and up. Also, if you don't have a soft chair, that's four. Sometimes a pillow underneath of your head and shoulders. And up, that's five, will help with how that feels digging into your back, the edge of the chair. Two more here, one, two, three, and up. And then last one, one, two, three, and up. Okay, so now you're gonna take medium to heavy band, step into that band and place it just above your knees. Okay, so I'm gonna have you take a peek at what I'm doing here so you can just remember the form. So we're gonna go down and up, not, not in a slow matter, but we're gonna go down and up, and then three pulses against the band. One, two, three with the band. So that three count is pushing your knees apart from each other, okay? So let's start here, eight of these. We're gonna go down and up. One, two, three, good. Down and up. One, two, three, good. Down and up. One, two, three, that's three. Down, up. One, two, three, down, up. One, two, Three, anybody else's glutes feel like they're on fire? Mine do. Okay, one, two, three, we got two more. Down and up. One, two, three, last one. Down and up. One, two, three, okay. All right, let's do it again. So triceps here. Just a reminder on that band that you choose, make sure that you can do that full range of motion, that it is a good challenge for you to get to B number eight. And we're gonna start out here and go just a slow count on the eight. One, two, three, four, five, good, six, how about that? Everyone's seven. Everyone's elbows are in the right spot. Love this. Switch sides. Everyone looks great. Keep it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. Time to count to three, as you are so good at doing by now. Let's do this, other side. One, two, three, and down. 
two, three, down. One, two, three, down. Two, three, four. One, two, three, five. Okay, three more. You got this. One, six, two, seven. The last one. Oh, okay. All right, switch sides. Here we go. One, two, three, and down. One, two, three, down. One, two, three, down. And four, five, six, last two. And last one, one, two, three, and down. Okay, say goodbye to triceps for today. Let's head back to the chair. So keep your band nearby to slip it on after we do our eight regular slow hip bridges here. Well, let's sidle up to the chair, get your hug positioned on it and your shoulder blades partially on there. Good. And we're going to lower those hips. Three, two, one, and up. Three, two, one, and up. Three, two, one, and up. Also helps you to get as much an up extension in those hips as you can. If you squeeze those glutes at the end of the range of motion, we've got three more. One, two, three, up. So just when you think you've pressed your hips as far towards the ceiling as you can, give yourself a little squeeze in the glutes. It'll give you more space up to the ceiling. Three and done. Okay, band on the legs just above your knees. Okay. And back up on that chair. So we're gonna do regular paced hip bridges with the three pulse against the band. And one, two, three, two, two, three, and three, three, and four, one, two, three, and five. And six, two, three, last two, and seven, one, two, three, last one, and up, one, two, three. Okay. All right. Made it through. Next up, we're going to do some hamstrings and some rowing. So, a little leg arm combo. Grab a drink if you need it. So what I'm gonna do is demonstrate the two exercises here. They both turn into a three pulse as we've been doing. Um, I'm gonna just use a green band. I think that'll show up nicely on the camera. So for the hamstring extension, there's two different ways you could do it. So Pay attention here. You start with the band around your ankles and then the foot that you're going to press out behind you, you're just going to kind of slip that band over the middle of the arch of your foot. And you're going to press like you've literally got a wall behind you that you want to place the sole of your shoe on like that. So you want that to be the angle. Now, the different way I told you that you could do this works just as well, just as good of an exercise is having your forearms on a chair like this, still kicking out like that, like you want your sole of your foot to be on the wall behind you. So the other exercise is gonna be a row with a band. And don't worry, I'll go over this again when we get to it, but you're gonna be stepping on the band, kind of kneeling like this and doing a row back like that. So, you're probably gonna, I would say, need a little bit lighter band for the 
hamstring leg exercise than you do for the row, but have your bands nearby to kind of pick from that and see what one works for you. Let's start out. I'm gonna pick a different band here. We're gonna start out with the hamstring exercise. So like I said, put that band around both of your ankles. And then let's start with the left leg. How about that? So put the, that band around the left arch of your left shoe, whether you're on the mat or hands on the chair like me, doesn't matter. And we're gonna start, this is just gonna be slow and controlled eight reps. So we'll do them all together to make sure we're doing a good strength-based tempo. And one, and two. Try to keep your hips three nice and level. So what happens with this sometimes is when we stick our leg out behind us, that leg that we're sticking out, in this case, our left leg, five, that hip kind of wants to peel up towards the ceiling. So try to keep it nice and level, six down towards the floor, two more, seven, and last one, eight, okay. Now you're going to put the band around your left ankle and then slip the other side around your right, the middle of your right shoe. Because that right leg is gonna be the hamstring exercise this time. So we're going in three, two, one. And right leg out, one. Remember to just envision there being a wall directly behind you that you're placing the entire sole of your shoe on. Three, four, five, six, seven, Ooh. and eight. Can you imagine what a three pulse is gonna feel like on this? It's gonna be intense but it's gonna be good. We're all getting strong hamstrings today. So we're gonna switch it to the other side again. The band is around your right ankle and then on the left, around the middle of your shoe on the left side. And the three pulse is gonna just be out, two, three, like that. So we're gonna start with that in three, two, and one. One, two, three, and back. One, two, Three and back. One, two, three and back. One, two, three and back. Whoa, that's intense. One, two, three and back. Three more. One, two, three and back. One, two, three and back. And one, two, three and back. Wow, okay. Ooh. I know you guys are not missing one second of this because I wore orange tights today. Is anybody having a problem seeing my legs? I didn't think so. All right, switching to the other side. The right leg is gonna go back now. And we're going and one, two, three, and in. One, two, three, and in. One, two. Three and one, two, three and one, two, three and and wow, three more. You can do it. One, two, three and one, two, three and last one. One, two, three and in. Wow. Okay. Hello, hamstrings. Good Friday morning to you. Happy Friday to all you too, right? It's the first month we've ever worked out on Fridays. It's like kind of kicking the weekend off. It's exciting. All right, so let's, we're gonna do left arm row first. So step on that band with your right foot, kind of like around the ball of your foot. And what you're gonna do is lean that right forearm on that right thigh. And you're gonna pull that left hand back to your like, imaginary pocket that you have in your side. That's your angle of movement there. So we're gonna go in three, 
two, one, and one, and two, and three, four, five, six, and seven, and last one, eight. Okay. So now we're gonna switch sides. Grab the band in your right hand, but step on it with your left foot here. So when you take that left forearm and put it on your left thigh, try to not bend over all the way. Like you don't want your torso to be parallel to the floor. You want your chest to be kind of up a little bit taller so you can look at the wall in front of you. All right, and now we're gonna pull one, two, three, everyone looks great, keep it up. Four, five, six, seven, last one, and eight, okay. All right, so change bands if you need to. Like me, I think I chose a little bit too heavy band for that one. So I'm gonna change up, lighten it up, just one. Cause we're gonna do the same thing, but with a pulse. So gets intense here. We're gonna switch back to the left hand, grab that band in your left hand, step on it with your right foot. And we are pulling into that pulse position in three, two, one, pull back, pulse, one, two, three, and back, 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 okay, one, two, three, and we only got three more here, you can do it, one, back, one, two, three, back, one, two, three, back, and that's it. Okay, switch sides, other side, so band is in your right hand, stepping on it with your left foot, step that left foot forward, kneeling with the left forearm on the left side, and we're pulling back to our imaginary pocket, where we've got our favorite spatula tucked in, right? One, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three, three more. You can do it. I know your arms are burning. Keep it up. Two, three, and one, two, three, last one. And one. Okay. Whew. All right. So we are going to take it from the top here. It's got about 10 minutes left. So we're going to go through this block one more time and then do a little bit of core work before we're done. So get in there. You guys are doing great. So let's start off again with a hamstring band. So putting that band around your ankles for your hamstring work. So you're going to get in position there. Slip the left, the band around the left foot, the middle of that left foot. And you're pressing that left foot like you want to put the sole of your shoe on a wall behind you and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Also really helpful here to keep your core tight, almost like you were doing a plank. Um, that's just gonna stabilize everything so your back doesn't move too much, your low back doesn't move too much as you're extending that leg behind you. So now we're gonna do the right, right foot. So we're gonna extend that right leg behind you in three, two, and go, one. Two, three, 
four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Okay. Time to count to three. Here we go. Other legs. So band goes on the left. Shoe. And we are pressing back in three, two, one. One, two, three. Good. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Halfway. One, two, three. You can do it. Keep on. One, two, three. Two more. One, two, three. Last one. One, two, and three. Oh, okay. Wow. All right. Other side. Be some sore hammies tomorrow. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling that. Right side, around the middle of your right shoe. And we're off in three, two, one, and back. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, I've got this. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Last two, you've got it. One, two, three. And final one. One, two, three. Okay, all right. We've got the next couple minutes of rowing. And then we will do some core. All right, so start with the band in your left hand and you're gonna step on it with your right shoe. Trap that band under the ball of your right foot. Right forearm leaning on that right thigh and we're pulling back. One. Two. Three. You're aiming your hand for your pocket. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Excellent. Let's switch it up. Band in your right hand, stepping on it with your left foot. And kneeling on that left side, pulling back with your right hand. Go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, keep it up, two more. Seven, oh, and eight. Okay, one more time through on the three counts. And then we've got a couple minutes of core and we'll be done. So grab the band in your left hand, stepping on it with your right foot. And we're off to the three count and go. One, two, three, and down. One, two, three. Three and down. One, two, three and down. One, two, three and down. One, two, three and down. Keep it up. One, two, three and down. Three more. One, two, three and down. One, two, three and down. Last one. You can do it. One, two, Three and down, okay. One more side on the row, right side. So you're stepping on the band with your left shoe. And you're gonna pull up to your right hip with your right hand. And we're going in three, two, and one, two, three, and down. One, two, three, and down. One, two, three, and down. One, two, Three and down. One, two, three. Do this. Almost there. He's got three more to go. One, two, three, down. One, three, and down. Last one. One, two, three, and down. Okay. So 
We've got a couple minutes left, so we're gonna squeeze in some core work and then we are gonna be out of here. So you're gonna need your heavy bag or some dumbbells because we're gonna be doing pull over crunches. So that just means you're taking weight and tapping it behind your head and then bringing it up, crunching it up and bringing it over your knees. So we're gonna be doing that. And the other exercise is gonna be just a slow bicycle, taking our legs in and out like this. So I'll give everyone just a second. I know you're finding the things that you need for this and getting on the mat. But we're gonna start off with eight slow pullover crunches. Everybody ready? And let's get started in three, two, and one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Okay. You might have guessed by now what's next. We're going to turn this into a three count pulse. So that's what this is going to look like. You're going to crunch up like we just did, but you're going to go one, two, and three, and then come back down with the weight, and then one, two, and three. Okay. So let's get started here in three, two, one, up. One, two, three, and down. Make sure you are picking up two, three, a spot directly above your head to stare at the whole time you do this exercise. That's gonna keep your neck in a safe position. This one kind of escalates quickly. Do you feel it? I feel it. One, two, three, let's do three more. Two, three, one, two, three, and last one. One, two, three. Okay, what you just felt was upper abdominals. So now we're gonna shift the focus downward to the lower abdominals by doing some slow bicycles. This will be eight on each side. So we're gonna go for 16 and you're gonna put one leg out and then the other leg out. So let's go starting that in three, two, one. So those of you who've done these with me before will know what I always say, and that is three, to squash something under your low back, something imaginary, anything you want, but really maintain focus on keeping that low back really pressed into the mat. There you go. And this is 10. We're gonna go for six more. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, rest. One last thing. You guessed three pulse. So we're just gonna do eight total. So that'll be four on each side. But essentially what's gonna happen, like you're gonna stick your leg out like this, one, two, and three. So we'll do the three pulse when you stick your leg out. Okay, so let's get started on one leg. One, two, three. Do not forget what your low back is doing. It's the most important thing here. If you don't feel like it has contact with the ground and you can't make that happen, just elevate your legs a little bit more off the floor and that'll assist you in bringing your low back in contact to the floor. Two, three, all right, almost done. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and last one, one, two, and three, okay. 
Awesome strength workout, everyone. Let's get some stretching in. Uh, first of all, let's lay on our side. We're on the mat. No need to get off the mat just yet. And whatever leg is on top, you're going to reach around to that ankle and just kind of pull behind you for a stretch. If it is a challenge to reach that ankle. If you have a uh, towel or something nearby, that's an option to kind of pull that, loop it around your ankle and pull back. But this is necessary from all those squats that you did today. Yes, you did. All right. Okay, and now we're gonna switch sides. So lay on your other side. Grab that ankle with the top leg and just give it a little pull so you feel that nice stretch in the front of your thigh. So our next fit camp session is gonna be on Monday. Uh, as far as the focus goes, it, it's a mix of cardio and strength. Uh, it is a game-based workout where you all will actually end up picking the exercises we do out of a bank of exercises I've created. And it's called It's a Zoo in here because all the exercises are named with animal names. So we're gonna just be a bunch of animals on the screen on Monday. What a way to start the week. I think everyone will have a good time with it. Okay, so now we're gonna do a little stretch for those hamstrings. Anybody feel those hamstrings today? So you're gonna stand. And have you place your right leg, cross it over your left, and keep your left leg nice and straight as you bend down. So you're gonna bend down like this, keeping your back flat too. You might not need to bend far to really feel that stretch in your hamstring and that back leg. Okay. All right, and let's switch sides. So now you're gonna step your left leg over your right leg. Keep that right leg straight as you bend down to feel that good hamstring stretch in your right leg. Did anybody feel their triceps today? I oh, know I did. So we're gonna head there next for our last stretch. Let's do, we're gonna take left elbow, point it towards the ceiling, and then you're just gonna take that right hand and kind of assist a little pullback to get your left tricep stretched there. Good. And let's switch sides, the other side. For those of you, there's a few of you that do take my stretch and roll class. The next class is tomorrow morning at 11 in the morning, where we'll be doing some chest opening work. Okay. Thank you everyone for being here today. I had a great Friday with you. Enjoy your weekend. <laughs>